all electric lorry, which effectively in Scandinavia is absolutely ideal for hauling logs around and uh, prevents the need for people to have to do the driving. And uh, it's going to do a lap around the circuit any moment. It is a heavy duty autonomous electric truck designed for logging camps. Uh, the transport industry uses over 11 million barrels of oil daily and accounts for over 7% of global CO2 emissions. So uh, Einride was founded in 2016 with a vision to change freight to be sustainable and intelligent through technology. So we will very shortly have, and uh, there it goes. So remember, it is all electric and all autonomous. It is uh, being controlled rather than driven. Uh, Einride founded in 2016 with a vision, uh, as I say, to change freight, to uh, make it sustainable and intelligent. And this is the fruits of the company's labors. And there it is on the start line. So as soon as everybody is happy, then it will set off for its lap. The last of the little checks just being made. Just as in modern motorsport, you see the laptop is essential here. So uh, programming the lap. 5G technology is what is needed for autonomous driving and connected vehicles for safe performance. So uh, it's a curious looking device, but uh, very effective and a very sensible one as well. The last time I saw a laptop being plugged into a vehicle was a few hours ago. It was a bright red Ferrari Formula One car and it made the <laughs> engine do <laughs> extraordinary things. So uh, that's, I don't think we're going to get that from the Iron Ride, but I'm fascinated to see this great big lump actually kind of extraordinary looking it's a, a real vision of the future isn't it the idea that that can drive itself accurately around the circuit is extraordinary as you look at it and you think it is strange and then you sort of look at the side and you think well actually no i can see the lorry shape in that it's only at the front where you're expecting the windscreen and a driver i guess um a, a cab over style truck so the test vehicle is there at the front and uh, the iron ride will do its lap any moment so there are all the sensors and the cameras and the beams. So the, uh, if you like, control car ahead sets off. Goodwood is like a sort of time machine gone crazy, isn't it? One minute we're in the 60s, the next minute it's sort of 1910, suddenly we're in 2000 and, well, it's, I was going to say sort of 2040, but it's not. This is only two years away, potentially, yeah. from being let loose on the road. Yes, every year at the Festival of Speed, there's the future lab, isn't there? And, and, and Goodwood, uh, yes, always does have a nod to the past. Of course it does, but also an eye on the future. And here it is. So, as soon as everybody is content, the indication can be given. And then uh, the control vehicle will move away. Actually, a very welcome breather, isn't it? It's a chance just to catch our breath after the excitement True. of the shootout. <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm quite grateful for it. I was just wondering whether, if you'd let Nick Padmore do the programming for this lap, uh, what you might have got at the other end. But uh, yeah, that was some lap by Nick, wasn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I think that was watching and talking about that lap was the most tiring thing I've done all weekend, <laughs> given that I've just done a race, sprinted from one end of the paddock down here to the commentary booth. It was the most, most tiring thing. Now, a little earlier, we uh, did hear from the people behind Einride, uh, who explained exactly what this concept is all about. And uh, Molly Pettit spoke to them a little earlier. Let's just remind ourselves what Einride and what this amazing vehicle is all about. Having a wander around the paddock, and I got to the Park Ferme area, and I stopped and I looked up and I said, "What is this?" And luckily, I found Marie and Christian to explain everything. So, guys, tell us, what is this? Uh, yep, this is an AET. Actually, it's an autonomous electric truck. So it's self-driving, all-electric, 26-ton lorry, as you would say in England, I think. Wow! And Christian, how do you operate it? So, as Marie said, it's an autonomous truck. It operates itself. It uh, continuously knows where on the track it's going to be, and it optimizes the route it takes to get the fastest lap possible. And how are you guys uh, showcasing the truck here at Goodwood? Uh, we're here. We're big. <laughs> and everyone else is small and fast, so that's it. <laughs> yeah. You, you certainly stand out in that perspective. Yeah, we do. 
It just it just looks incredibly futuristic, yeah. really cool. And when will we see this kind of thing out on the public road? Oh, actually, it's in two years, 2023. If we have all the possibilities, because the technology is here, we wow. just need to make it happen. And it can be trusted. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. That's amazing. So the iron ride will be uh, setting off in a moment or two. Just before it does, let's have a quick break. So there is the iron ride, this uh, amazing heavy duty autonomous electric truck doing its lap of Goodwood. Uh, iron ride has brought its latest pod to speed week to try out a lap of the circuit. And uh, after mapping the circuit using laser imaging radar and gradually increasing its speed as it gets to a certain level the truck believe it or not automatically takes to the racing line now i have a suspicion that the timekeeping service isn't necessarily going to clock it through the speed trap which is a shame but uh, it's not doing a bad pace at all this uh, it uh, debuted at the 2018 festival of speed presented by mastercard not only battery powered but capable of a driverless all-terrain operation battery power in fairness does make a lot of sense for freight at least on shorter routes with uh, current electric only ranges electric mo uh, motors can provide a huge amount of torque for moving heavy loads and uh, of course pre-planned routes you can factor in charging times uh, within the shipping schedule it all operates on 5g technology here for the autonomous driving uh, so they can perform safely and the fast data networks therefore mean that if there is a drama then humans can step in and take control remotely uh, effectively one person can be uh, like an air traffic controller and assist many different trucks all at once. So the pace actually that it's doing is pretty impressive, isn't it? I know it's not against the stopwatch, but this uh, is certainly not slow. Well, slightly more impressive than the pace is the lines it's taking. I've been watching closely now. I do a lot of driver coaching here at Goodwood <laughs> and I'm starting to feel that my job is threatened. <laughs> That's all they need now is the laser imaging radar. Your, your job's gone. We, we, we'll have to get rid of it, Sam, somehow. Yeah, but, uh, absolutely. I want to fault it. I'm going to pick up. I'm going to be a bit of a bully as he comes into Woodcut. <laughs> Just double check. He's got the entry to Woodcut correct. It's extraordinary, though, that, that technology allows this to happen, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it really is. And like I say, this isn't at one mile an hour. This is a, a sensible pace. So imagine this in uh, logging camps. The chicane's going to be a test, isn't it? Is. I mean, that is. Uh, have we got any stats as to how wide it is? Because it doesn't look much narrower than the gap between the two walls. This is uh, it really is intriguing now to see, but uh, the chicane has not been moved. By the way, it, that's reasonably quick. It is, isn't it? Big car. <laughs> well, I've made mincemeat of it. Well, that's an impressive line, an impressive lap. Very good indeed. So the Einride uh, autonomous, all electric truck completes its lap and now makes its run to uh, the start and finish line where the team will take over and then guide it back into the uh, assembly area amazing it can go backwards too exactly so turn it around take it into the uh, paddock at the exit of the lap that's impressive Certainly three point turn better than I can. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the lines were faultless. I mean, so consistent. Yeah. A little bit wide of the apex. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 Says the driver coach and Sam Hancock. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing technology. Fascinating to see, isn't it? And, and what a contrast from uh, the uh, 1950 sports cars that we had a little earlier. Great to contrast. Right.